Hello again, back with another review for another Factory Entertainment Men in Black prop replica. Um, this came in uh, this past week, um, so I've had a chance to play with it and take a look. Um, as usual, I don't do unboxings because I do not have the patience to do them, but as per usual, your item will come packaged in the shipping carton. The inner box comes nicely protected with these foam bumpers. And then that is the inner box that you get. So nothing new there. Um, pretty simple. Um, everything comes wrapped in different poly bags. Um, so, yeah, not much to say there. All right. And next, we have the little instruction manual slash instru uh, uh, certificate of authenticity. You have some info about the replica. Um, certificate a little diagram of the different parts, and then battery installation instructions. We'll get into that more in a moment. Operating instructions, it's pretty straightforward. All right, so that's the certificate. Once again, the new replicas come in these nice shadow boxes. Um, a little latch, and then we have the edition plaque. I got number 28 out of 1,000, and here's something kind of nifty. Just like the previous Factory Entertainment release, you get a little hex screwdriver for batteries. Um, the batteries come pre-installed, so you will have to open up the battery compartment. It is this bottom screw. The top screw is for show only. If you unscrew that, it will just, it will just come out and it's fine. You put it back in. There will be a little plastic tab in there that you pull out. And then you close everything up again. This takes LR44 batteries. If I remember correctly, the first Factory Entertainment release took three uh, batteries, and I don't remember what type they were. And then you just put your little plaque back in there. So here's the replica itself. So Factory Entertainment... Uh, says that this is a Men in Black 1 Noisy Cricket. And they say this based on the color of the lights. <laughs> now, some fans of the props probably already know this, but um, both movies actually had green lights. In fact, the Men in Black 2 Noisy Cricket had a green gel inside with a black square mesh and the square mesh ran horizontally. Um, and as you can see here, this replica has a silver mesh that runs kind of crisscross. Um, I still think it looks cool, but it's not accurate. Um, and you may also notice that this is not a Men in Black 1 noisy cricket. This is still the Men in Black 2 tooling. Um, so they've just added the mesh and changed the LED color. Um, I don't really mind this, but some people might not like this. Um, you may know that the Men in Black 1 Noisy Cricket has a slightly longer snout, that the holes on the sides are longer, and these vents are a little bit farther forward and slightly differently shaped. The hammer should be a slightly different shape. 
Also, there are no screws here, here, or here on the Men in Black 1 version. So, quite a few differences. Also, this top kind of shape wouldn't be there on a Men in Black 1. Uh, so, <clears throat> that's kind of a preference. If, if that kind of thing bothers you uh, too much to not want to buy this, I, I totally get it. It doesn't bother me. I'm a big enough fan, and I like licensed replicas. But anyway, here's the functionality. So you pull the hammer back, and you get these nice green LEDs, and that nice chirping sound. They're super bright. Um, they're flickering, and these are the batteries that came with it. I don't know if it's flickering because the batteries are cheap, um, or if that's just a part of the electronics. I know my original Noisy Cricket flickered a little bit, so that might just be how it is. And then when you pull the trigger, you get a flash. I don't know if that flashed too quickly to see it, but then you push the hammer back. If you want to fire again, pull back again, and then the flash. So. It's nice and loud. It's louder than the, the Neuralizer. Um, I think it looks great. Once again, chrome uh, over brass. Um, another detail I noticed, I don't know if this is just on mine, but um, on Factory Entertainment's original Noisy Cricket, they had a little port down here. It looked like a charging port. Uh, fans of the prop would know that it's, it, uh, it was actually a connector for the live fire version of the Noisy Cricket. So there would be wires that would run down the sleeve of the actor. Um, and then when they pulled the trigger, you'd get a little muzzle flash out of the, the holes there. Um, mine's missing, or they left it out of this replica. Um, it would have been nice if that detail was there. Uh, it doesn't really bother me as much because I'm happy about the green LEDs and the mesh. Um, but yeah, so that is Factor Entertainment's Noisy Cricket replica. They call it a Men in Black 1. It's basically a slightly inaccurate Men in Black 2. Um, this is a pricey item. It comes in at about, I think, $450.00. Um, this is another thing that comes down to preference. That is a lot of money. I think this item should probably be priced at maybe like $250. Um, but if you're a big enough fan and you like licensed replicas with sound effects, it might be worth it to you. It might not be. That's up to you. My only other gripe is... On the Neuralizer shadow box, the latch is on the side, and the door opens that way. Which means I can set my shadow box upright on a shelf. But with the latch being on the bottom, it's not really the, the safest thing to do. So your only real display option is laying flat. And my Men in Black shelf is up higher, so if it's sitting like this, you won't be able to see what's in it. So, another thing that um, I wish they had just kind of rotated this around. But, um, yeah, not a big deal. But now, I do want to go over the full arsenal. So, I've got my original standard issue from Factory Entertainment. The Men in Black 1 Neuralizer. The Galaxy. The Hamilton Ventura with the metal bracelet as seen in Men in Black 3. And then, my 
Bausch and Loam Predator 2 with the accurate gloss brow and matte frame, uh, non-polarized. The version I have have Ray-Ban on one side. I don't know if you can see that, if it'll focus. And Cats on this side. So these are the really old model. <clears throat> so that is the whole setup. And one thing I like about the green LED on the Noisy Cricket is I always feel like in the first movie there was a wide variety of colors for the devices, the gadgets. So it's really cool to see the variety of colors. You got your green, red, white. I think in Men in Black 1, in the pawn shop scene, uh, I think there are some moments when you see that the lights should actually be green in there, but, you know, whatever. Again, another slight inaccuracy. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Another great replica. Um, if you're mad at Factory Entertainment for this or that reason, uh, I don't fully blame you, but um, I'm happy with it. I feel like my Men in Black collection is pretty much complete, unless they make the soil sampler or the cell phone or something like that from the first movie. I'm pretty content for now, but that's it. Thank you.